Pferd abhauen. really like to get some of these sand pal toys. I think I'd like them more for me than for you. Have you fun? Yeah. What are you doing? Have you fun? back it's like jamming up that's not ideal nah, it's still gonna hit is that hitting it's hitting yeah I think we might have to go back all the way and try and remove it unheard of to have no cars at Waddy Point and we are the only two cars at Waddy Point. Waddy looks very different. What have you got? Um, okay. Is that frozen juice? You're so lucky. We are off to go and see Poppy Pete's plaque and have a beer with him. Now let's see if mummy can get up. That axing herself. <laughs> the 
goat track up to the top of the hill there. Watch your step, Lizzie. Good girl. Walking with children, be like, hey, mom, my shoes are hurting me. Hey, mom, I can't walk. Hey, mom, my shoes are on the wrong feet. My shoes. My shoes. What's this? You gotta change them around. For the first time, um, Brent and Mick have headed out, so it's just Trish and I and the kids, and we've decided to head to Orange Creek. Orange Creek is a freshwater creek between um, between the Ocean Lake track and Nagala. It's kind of you'll see it; it's hard to miss. Nanny Trish has just fried up some chippies, and she's put some chicken salt on this like chicken salt mayo delicious highly recommend the chicken salt mayo that one that's the secret recipe Good. if you're into beach fishing a good little thing to do is to grab some pippies and use the pippies to catch worms use them as bait we're just currently trying to bring up some pippies the way we do it is get down into the waves How many have you got, Nanny? I've got two. two. They're hard to find. Not many around. Are you going to use these for worm bait? Yeah. Not many about today. How was your first day out fishing? <laughs> How was your first day out fishing on Fraser? Bloody beautiful. Good. Fantastic. Loved it. First day out on Hard Yakka. They got a rosy job fish. And they got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Eight pearly and a bar cod. Our filleting process is complete. We have some bags of filleted fish in the fridge. We've got a bag of bar cod, a bag of rosy jobfish or snapper, and then we've got the two bags of pearly. So we're gonna go home and we're gonna cry back. So the sun's about to go down and usually I would put solar lights on the front of the car, but this time I've put battery powered ones on. So I'm going to turn these on. There's our first ones. It looks so good at night time. Mrs. Elf. Mr. Elf. And some solar lights. We're all very Christmassy here. I think we started a trend because I've seen a few other cars here.
we've been coming up here for our entire lives staying at Orchid Beach we've also got Fraser Island tattooed on us my sister has it on her foot and I've got it on my side and these necklaces which um, Brent's mother and father got made up for my sister and I and herself as well so yeah very sentimental place we love it here it's like a second home and Peter's first steps were taken here we brought him here when he was a week old so this is what I've been doing today after I've finished doing all my chores get down to Wadi is this lunch with a view Hung out with Nanny for a little bit. She was fishing for some whiting and didn't really do too well, so she decided to go to South Wadi to do some worming. Trish, yep. what happened at South Wadi many, many years ago? I give up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people got drunk here. They... <laughs> no, who met here? Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> that the Chipman family. Yeah. We arrived here and got a beer out of the back of our car and Neville Chipman pulled up with these bloody girls in the car and my first word to Neville were keep your friggin' girls away from my boys and he don't listen. In case you didn't know, both myself and my sister are dating two of her sons and the other son that she has also met his wife at Fraser Island too, so it's the island of love. <laughs> I figured it would be a little bit more protected elsewhere for the kids, so Orange Creek it is. Lizzie, don't drag me over here. It's too shallow. I need to be in the deep love. The thing I like about Orange Creek here is that it's really quiet. The water is tannin, so no one really wants to swim in it because um, I don't trust it. But it is fresh, so it's not too bad. And it's shallow for the kids. Protected from the wind. It's actually kind of a little bit breezy out there, so I don't know how it's going to be for the boys out in the boat. You don't really feel like you've been swimming around in salty water and it makes you feel a little bit fresher at the end of the day. The only thing is if you're wearing white or something it might stain, but I'm not, so I don't have to worry about it. See, I never know how to pronounce these ones, but they are spelt Alfonsino. But I hear a lot of people say Alfonso. Alfonso. I remember one time Brent said Alfrenzo, and the phone read it as Old Frenzo. And then we got some flamies. I love the tails on the flamies. And we got a barcode. See, the little ones are apparently the best eating of the barcode. Let's see, what do you point from the filleting table? We got ornate job fish, a snap there, a cod, another cod, another cod, a whole heap of alf, how do they? Alfon I would call them Alfonsino because that's the way it's spelt. We got a nice flamey there with the beautiful tails. A whole heap of pearly. Is that a kingfish again? <laughs> she's got the knife and she's about to fill it. I'm gonna go these little ones. Alright, we got the ornate jobbies going first. Straight onto it. A woman that knows how to fillet fish is a good woman. Uh, not that good. The boys and Nanny out there filleting some fish. And I've been doing it with our eggs. And then cry back in them and freezing them.
bar caught in. We had a massive tangle with my line and all this, and it took forever to get the tangle undone. Giants of the ocean. Look at the way it's pushing. That is a monster. this thing on has come loose so Brent's trying to reattach it. The sharks were brutal today, hey? Yep. Have you ever seen the sharks like that before? Yeah. That line goes all the way through that. All the way through that. Big one. All the way, all the way. Still in through Wayne Rock. I call 14, 15. 24. Holy 
24 kilos. Are you sure that scale's not out of whack? <laughs> uh -huh. Ah, bye. Is it? Christmas Day. Merry Christmas everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I hope you can see the shark in this footage. I've got it on close up. Right? Oh, that's a there, right? Yeah, wow, that's a big one. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. This is Christmas and this is Christmas's apology for the shitty weather today. Oh my god.
Yeah. What's everyone's guess? Dad, what's your guess? 23 and a half. 23 and a half, 24. Brent reckons 27. Ashley, what do you think? 25. 25. What did you say, Alfie? 22. 22. I don't remember any of those numbers, so I hope you do. I'm going to say 26. 23.2. Put it down a bit. Reggers. He said 23 and a half. Is this my Christmas present for the day, Brent? Yeah. Or is it yours? Ah, sure. Are you eating? Kind of rare, I reckon. That's alright. Mm. It's funny. Yeah, that's f***ing good. Ahoy guys, thanks for watching so far. I'm going to end it there and I'll start another video, otherwise it's going to get too long. We were there for three weeks, so there's a lot of footage to get through. Just a little side note, I lost a lot of footage when my external hard drive broke when we were away. So I had to wait a long time. Um, it took four months at least to get any of it back. Amazingly, we managed to get a lot of the footage back but not all of it so there are bits that i'm missing which i'm really stoked that we got any back at all so hope you've enjoyed that video the next couple of videos will show you the rest of the trip if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe I put a lot of effort into these videos and it would be good to get a little bit of support there so hope you're all having an awesome day night whatever it is, and we'll catch you in the next video. See ya.